The last time I had the opportunity to talk to you, uh, it was for Man with the Iron Fist, and one of, you were just one of the most humble guys because one of the things you said to me during that interview was, you know, I've, I've got certain limitations as an actor and I love being able to have these roles. But then we see you play Drax and you brought a, a humanity to it. You brought something to that performance that was just awesome. What has changed for you between that time, like a year and a half ago, to yeah. now that has allowed you to evolve as an actor yeah. that way that you can pull off a character like this? Uh, I think that's just it. I'm just evolving as an actor. And I think uh, that's kind of been my goal all along. And I think, yeah, I still have my limitations as, as far as performance, but it's, it's really cool because I'm, you know, I'm learning the craft and every time I come off a, a certain project, I feel like I've, I've become, you know, I've become better at that craft. And it really between, you know, between uh, Man with Iron Fist and, uh, and Guardians, I mean, I, I had the chance to work on Riddick and uh, with Vin Diesel is really, really helpful, man. I actually learned a lot uh, just on that film. I didn't have a huge part, but I, I learned a lot, which has kind of been, I, don't know, I think it's kind of you know what I've I've taken away from each project, you know. What, what would you say would be the most challenging thing about shooting this film in particular? Uh, well, I think that I mean there's a lot of challenges. I mean long, long days. But I, I think also, um, you know, the dialogue for Drax was just real tricky for me, and also I mean it was just it was challenging. I'm mean, stepping on set with really really like talented actors <laughs> and you so, had to, you were like yeah. just deadpan the whole time yeah you no know, some of the, and that's you know some of the times we weren't i mean there's some you know <laughs> and thank god for editing but there's some <laughs> there was a lot of laughs man there was a lot of improv going on a lot of laughs so there was more than a few takes where you know we all just died laughing you know now you've had the experience because of the various stages of your career that you've had where you know you know there have been toys made of you stuff like that but mm -hmm. now you're in a film all of a sudden mm -hmm. where there are people all over the world are going to have Drax the Destroyer toys you're probably right. going to see kids at Halloween dressing as you for Halloween right. How, what's this experience like for you now it's it's awesome <laughs> <laughs> no I mean to be really honest with you I was like uh, just for example when uh, we were over on set shooting they were telling us that Lego was going to come over and they were going to bring over some you know uh, some of their Lego um, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy toys, man, just for us to check out. And I was like super excited. I still get like that kind of stuff just turns, turns me into a little kid. So they're probably, <laughs> I'm gonna, probably going to be the guy like pushing the little kids out of the way to get the, <laughs> get the, you know, get the Guardians toys. Yeah. Well, listen, man, I love the film. Congratulations on it. And you were you. a big part about why it's so good. Congratulations. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Take care, man. Yeah, take care. Hey, everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.